Hello everyone, so here we are with the final look on this really cool 1980 Mickey Mouse telephone. Now this is a GPO version, as you can see it has the dial, the later versions offered by British Telecom were um, push button. But yeah, this has a dial, it also has a trim foam ringer, later versions with the push buttons had a bell. This also has a little earth recall button there, which I've rewired to be used as a um, secrecy button. Now these dial versions had this um, compact phone handset, um, or better known as the Jubilee phone that had this handset. Um, but I've installed an electronic microphone now and um, that's all working fine. It's all been polished up and cleaned. I haven't um, done anything about the discoloration as of yet. I thought it didn't look that bad to be honest. Um, so I decided to leave that. So if we have a look at the back of the phone here you can see the handset card is now in really good shape. I remoulded it using the old knitting needle and hairdryer trick which makes them all nice and new looking again. As you can see the handset card there and the line card both exit from the back which makes hanging the phone up look neat from the front. So there's the Mickey figure itself. As you can see, looks really cool. Very retro looking. And uh, all the decals are in good condition which is good. There's the adjustment for the ringer. So you have loud, you have the um, sort of your crescendo I think you'd call that or um, basically it, start, it starts out soft and then builds up to loud and then you have soft so it's basically low medium and high essentially and then you also have off which originally these weren't set for you to be able to turn them off the ringers you, were, you couldn't do that as a customer um, but of course by loosening a screw inside enables the wheel to turn all the way to the end which is actually a marked position for off so that's cool. So the wood plinth that Mickey stands on seems in good shape, as you can see. So let's just take a look at the bottom of the phone. So it's all had a good clean. Now unfortunately upon cleaning the phone the original lettering on here which said post office property TSR 1001 um, 80 slash 2 or something like that I think it said. The original printings they all got washed off unfortunately and also the post office authorised release got washed off. So that's a shame but all's not lost because we still have the sticker from when British Telecom um, refurbed this in 82. So the phone's from 1980 it was refurbed in 82 and basically all they've done is add the British Telecom line card with the 431A plug and uh, converted the circuitry to allow that to work properly. Everything on the phone's original, so it's all 1980 basically. So there we are, so let's just uh, have a quick look at the dial. So here we have the dial, the typical British GPO type dial. I've made a number card for it, as you can see it says Storebridge 390257, that's just a random number that I made up, um, and I, I use this website online, I can't remember, if I can find it I'll link it in the description because it's dead good for making these dial labels, they look pretty good I think. So anyway, the dial's all been cleaned, I've got that sticky residue off the label cover, it's got a nice sound to the dial. As you can hear, it's got a good return speed. As I said, this is the secrecy button, which originally it would have been for Earth Recall had it been connected up. But I'll show you how I've um, changed that when I do the demo. Alright, well Mickey's plugged in and ready, so we'll start by giving you an outgoing call demo. So here goes. So there's the dialing tone.
I love GPO dials, they're so nice to dial out on. Okay, so you can hear that that's all working properly. So finally, to simulate an incoming call, I will now ring my landline using my iPhone, and of course you'll hear Mickey ring. Now these, as I said, these dial versions of the Mickey and the Snoopy phones were supplied with the trim phone ringer, so this doesn't have a bell. But it has that lovely tone caller which was very of its time. So the trim phone ringer, as I mentioned, has four settings, so I'll show all of those. And then I'll answer the phone and we'll be able to hear the transmit of the microphone. So without further ado, here we go, starting on loud. So that was loud. That's crescendo. The first ring is soft, and then the second ring is louder. Hard to pick up on camera. And that's soft. It's just a, a little bit less shrill. Then of course we have off altogether. Okay, so we've answered the phone here now. So, what I'll do is, I'll put my iPhone on speaker, I'll mute it, so I'll transmit into the handset, and already you can hear it's picking my voice up. Hello, Hello. testing, testing. One, two, three. As you can hear, this is an electronic microphone, and it's a lot clearer than the original carbon transmitter. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll hold this button down, sorry about that, I'll hold this button down which will cut off the transmit and I'll be able to demonstrate that. Okay, so now you can hear me talking and when I hold the button down as you can hear the transmit is completely dead. So that all works as it should. So there we go, that's absolutely fantastic. So. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's probably a little bit more rushed than usual, but I figured since I've done a few videos on these Mickey Mouse phones, I thought I wouldn't need to go into too much detail. But uh, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and uh, thank you very much for watching as always. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. Like if you enjoyed this video, and comment below if you have any questions. I'll feel free to answer them, don't you worry. So once again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.